Well, yes, Lupin and Zydus both are in the focus because both the companies have launched a drug in the US which is believed to be a big opportunity drug. They have launched Mirabegron extended release tablets in the US which is a drug used for the treatment of overactive bladder and it is a generic equivalent of a drug produced by Estellas Pharma Global Development. Now, Lupin and Zydus, for now, they have launched a drug of a strength 25 milligrams. Both the companies do have the approval of 50 milligrams as well which is expected to be launched in the times ahead. Now, just to give you a perspective, Lupin does say that this 25 milligrams of strength has an estimated sales of um, $1,019 million in the US and combined sales of 25 as well as 50 milligrams is at $2.42 billion in the US. So, it is indeed a big opportunity size drug and not just uh, Lupin and Zydus. In the times ahead, we can see more competition because Aurobindo Pharma too has a tentative approval for 50 milligram. Now let's talk about the uh, expected revenue from these drugs. Now Antic believes that for Lupin, the, uh, the, um, the company is expected to generate around 500 crores in FY25. Other than that, they're likely to remain the Lupin's biggest launch for FY25. Now Ilara is of the view that uh, this particular drug could help generate Lupin around 420 crores of revenue only for this 20, 25 milligram strength. But in the times ahead, how is the company Competition panning out to be. This is something that they will be watching out for because for now, uh, the analysts believe that Lupin has a joint FTF status with 180 days of exclusivity in the product along with Zydus Life. So both the companies have launched, and it is indeed a positive news. Back to you. All right. Thank